Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's workout, full body workout, fit, strong and flexible Pilates with Carla. I am actually teaching this live on Zoom as well. So if you see me doing some corrections with people, that's what it's all about. Listen up with your ears and not with your eyes. Work with control and co-connection. So let's get to it. I think we can start um, on our feet. And I do want you to have your band just in case you may need some support with the band. I have also um, close by a ball. If you have a big ball, we could do some fun stuff with this. I did plan to do a few fun stuff with that. So grab it to a ball. If you don't have a big one like that, a smaller one is fine. Okay, it doesn't matter. So go ahead, have your stuff close by. I'm gonna stand over here just on the floor and we're just gonna organize ourselves right up through the body. So let's think about the fingertips down through the sides. We want to really be anchoring up through the body, nice long through the tail, connected into the front, really feeling us lengthening through here. Drawing into the waist, breathing into the rib cage. And as we breathe out, we just feel the rib cage closing down around the waist. Breathing in and breathing out. Feeling the hands getting closer each breath and breathing out. Beautiful feet are hip distance apart. Let's go ahead to release those arms. Take a nice deep breath in, open through the chin and the chest. Getting a little back extension and breath out. Eyes come back to the horizon and down. And breathing in, opening through the chest, getting a little bit of an extension in through the back and down. And last time, breathing in and breathing out and down. Nice roll down now, inhale into the back, exhale to nod the chin and rolling through the spine bone by bone. Try to scoop up into the waist, keep the weight over the heels or the arches. So I don't want you sending your weight behind you. I want you to keep that weight over those legs. Relax the arms, relax the head, let the shoulders give that little shake. Give me a nice breath into the back, zipping up the tummy and roll back up. All the way back up. Beautiful. And again, one more roll down. Breathing into the back. And bring up. All the way up. Fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead onto the mat. Now that we're nice and warmed up into the, um, the spine, nice and long. I'm just gonna put my ball underneath my feet for now. And I do have a, a little pillow here for later or in case we need. I also do actually have a couple of blocks for sitting on if we need later on. So keep these out of the way for now, we'll put them on the side. And I wanna just place my feet onto the ball, right? And what I wanna get is a nice neutral spine. Just doing my back here. So a nice neutral spine. Keep those glasses off as well. I want to think resting the ribs down. This is a challenge for many people that when they go to lie down, their ribs are lifted. So they have a lot of space underneath the ribs and they think that's a neutral spine. So what you want to do is to melt the ribs down and lengthen through the pelvis. So just roll the feet slightly away and then draw them in. Just rolling them slightly away and draw them in and just feel where the pelvis comes to that neutral and the back of the neck is long. Let's stretch those fingers there over to the ankles. We're going to breathe in. And without pressing too much onto the ball, you're going to draw the tummy in and scooping into the belly so that you have a nice scooped back there. May just take off the shirt so you can see better as I'm doing this. Breathing in into the ribcage and breathing out to lengthen. So we get a little hollow here, but we still rest the ribs down. Inhaling into the back. Exhaling to scoop, my back, my legs long. I'm trying not to press into the ball to do this. I'm trying to just use the abdominal wall and then releasing that out. And again, breathing in. I just take my arm here so you can see. I'm breathing out, using the abdominal wall to do that and not the back. You pull in the back by using the abdominal wall. Breathing in and breathing out. Very nice. You're going to lift one leg there. Inhale. Breathing out. Curling that in. One leg. 
Breathing in and releasing, breathing out. Hold that there, inhale. Breathing, breathing out. Pull that tailbone up. Think of something on your knee. Inhale. Exhale, release that out to neutral. Just warming up into the deep core. Let's change legs. Just the light onto that ball. Breathing out. Pulling that pubic bone up. Inhale there. And exhale, releasing that out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Lengthening through that tailbone. Breathing in. And lengthening out, breathing out. Let's put that leg back down. I'm going to take the feet around the ball, okay? So I'm going to put my feet on the mat and my ankles, are, my shins are on the ball, okay? Bring that nice and close so that your feet can be hip distance. So I'm giving my ball a nice squeeze. I'm in my neutral. I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to breathe out again, drawing my belly in. And this time we can go even deeper as we feel the stretch into the front of the thighs. Breathing in and releasing out. We're going to go up a little bit higher. Feel that sacrum spreading out as the feet press into the ball. Inhale, feel that energy from the thighs. Exhale to imprint there, beautiful. Feel the stretch through the front of the thighs. Inhale there, squeezing into the crease of the bum. You're going to peel yourself off. Slipping up and send your, your knees away from your throat, pressing those hips up. All of that there, breathing in. Squeezing into those legs and breathing out to come down. Nice and slow with those breaths. Articulating the spine as we come down, all the way to neutral. Inhale again, exhale to scoop. Pressing through the spine, pressing my feet into the mat, my knees away from me. Beautiful, reach those legs away and breathing back out. All the way down. Lengthening up, beautiful. Grab onto your strap, your band this time. And then take your band across your body. We're gonna go up one more time here. Reaching up, pressing up here. Send those knees away. I'm gonna take my arms nice, zipping up my tummy, reach my arms behind, have a little energy into my arms. Press pulling on the band, lift those arms up and pressing into the back leg of the body. Press the hips into the band and the band into the hips. And reaching up, reaching back, shoulder blade placement, feel the shoulder blades rolling on the ribcage and press those arms down. Pressing away of those knees, pressing that away nicely and bringing those arms down, bring the hips up. Pressing into those feet, pressing into that ball, stretching those knees away from you, pressing down. Lifting those hips, lengthening through the spine and pressing down. Beautiful. Keep those arms nice and straight. Zipping up, reaching that out. Let me go one more time here. Beautiful. Press those knees away. Press those hips up. Squeezing that in. Lifting that up. Hold that up. Inhale. And you're going to curl down through the spine. Let you open up through the lower back. All the way to neutral, fantastic, and bring those arms down. I'm going to go ahead and place my um, right foot on the ball. I'm going to go ahead and take my left foot into the band to give that hamstring a nice stretch. Now, once I have my pelvis in position, we're going to go ahead and lengthen that other leg on the ball and feel that stretch deepen into that hamstring, stretching that out. Reaching that out. Now, if you don't have a band, you can just hold onto your leg here. You can imagine, you can intention the feeling. I forgot to say that with the other movement that we did. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure my band is nice and wide on my foot. Okay, so that we're going to lower that and lift that now. So I'm going to lower that leg and bring this knee in. And I'm going to straighten that other leg and lengthen that other leg away. Okay, bringing that in and lowering. So I'm trying to keep my arms where they are, elbows into the mat, lengthening through the body and reach and draw that in and reach and draw that in and reach and draw that in, reach, hold that there, cross your band, 
Circle that leg around, don't move that ball, reaching around. And for two. And for three. Let's go three more, working into that thigh, working into those glutes, working into those abs, pressing into that ball at the bottom. Last one coming up, reaching that around, taking it to the top, flex the foot. Obviously, if you don't have a bag, you just do it without. We can use a scarf or a, a flexi cord or something, anything you want, towel, it's just to support. If you use something that doesn't stretch, you might need to do small circles just at the top here, okay? Let's go one more here. Reaching that around, taking it all the way to the top, stretching it out, bring that other leg in and stretch the front of that other leg. Reaching that nice and long. So now I'm really reaching all the way down from my throat to my ankle. Feeling a big release into the front of the body here. Very nice. Let's bring that leg up. I'm going to take that um, band off. I'm going to change feet on the band so we can stretch out the hamstring. Just work into those hamstrings on the bridge. So it's nice to do these where you're really feeling a big release there. So let's first get that waist nice and anchored. Then we're going to stretch that leg away so we can get that hamstring stretch, okay? You can always keep this leg there if it's too much for you. Okay, so let's stretch that leg down as we bring the other leg in. Okay, and rolling that all the way. And pulling that in and rolling that away. I don't have too tight on the band because I don't want to help that leg too much. I want to be working into those lower abs and into that thigh, right? So I don't want to be too tight on my band. It has to be a little bit of work. And reach and lengthen. You do what, six to eight of these or ten. Let's go one more here. Reaching that away and lengthen that. Beautiful. Just crossing your back at the top, holding the hands still into the ball of the foot, cross the body. Really nice circles there. And for two. We did six and six in the other leg. Above the leg circles. Really feeling a nice massage into the joint. Five. Zipping up across the hips. Trying not to press to, to move the ball too much. And reach. Flexing into the foot, opposite direction. Let's go. Reaching, zipping up those abs, reaching away with that other leg, and reaching it away, massaging into that hip, feeling this inner thigh stretch, front of the thigh stretch, outer thigh stretch. Last two here, reaching that around, zipping up across the hips, across the ribs, taking that all the way to the top. Beautiful. Press into that foot and bring that down and stretch through the front of that leg all the way from the throat to that ankle, just feeling that long line. Beautiful. Ah, nice. All right, so what you're gonna do now, you're going to place the, open your band. Okay, if you don't have a band, you don't have to have one, you're gonna take your legs around the ball again. Okay, with the feet on either side of the ball in the band. Okay, you may need to, my socks I have on is sort of sticky, so they are difficult for me to move a little bit. So I'm going to come with my legs in. I'm going to bring my legs into 90-90 so I can really feel the energy into my legs. Okay, so I'm squeezing into the ball. I'm feeling that inner thigh connection. I'm feeling the ankle connection. Okay, so from here, we're going to go into our 100 prep. We're going to tuck the chin in. We're going to reach up with the head, neck, and shoulders. I press into those arms and bring it back down. And pressing up and down. And up and down. And lift and down and lift. Really feeling into those legs. Feeling into those abs and reach and reach. Let's go one more here and reach. Beautiful and down. 
Fantastic. Cross your band if you have, if it's long enough. Cross your band, take your bands to the side, and just roll your knees side to side, just allowing the lower back and the neck to get a little stretch. So my neck is going in opposite direction to my legs, just releasing any tension in the neck that built up there because we're going to add on to go into 100. Okay, so let's come back to center. Let's take the band back to neutral on both sides. Are we ready? Yes, just about. Okay, and let's go into our 100. Tuck the chin in. Exhale to lift head, neck, shoulders, into those arms, zipping up the tummy, and let's pump that there. Pressing into the ball and pumping those arms. Again, inhaling five little counts, and exhaling five little counts. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhaling, and exhaling. Keep zipping up. Inhaling, and exhaling. Feel the triceps, feel the back. Tuck that chin in, and exhale. Very nice. Inhaling, squeeze those legs. Feel those inner thighs, lift that chest. And exhale. You can always, if you're tired, put the head down. The legs up there are still a workout. The arms are still a workout. So feel free to compensate. And lifting that chest. Let's do two more cycles there, hollowing the tummy. And one more. Holding that, bring those knees down and releasing that down. Beautiful. I'm just gonna hold on to my knees. Just roll my back from side to side. And then just roll my head gently one side and to the other side. And the other side. Fantastic. Let's just go ahead and take our band away from the feet. Feet are going to come to 90, legs are coming to 90, 90. So I think for this one, I have a quite long band. So I'm going to just double up my band, not because I don't need the tightness. I just need to have my band, okay? To engage it to my lats. So from here, we're going to come nice up head, neck, shoulders. I'm going to let my legs float away from me gently. And I'm going to peel myself up, reaching up into my teaser prep. I peel myself back down, bring those knees, take the arms behind. Lifting up, head, neck, shoulders, peeling up. Feeling a little energy into those balls, holding that there. Really starting to feel those inner thighs fired up, really feeling starting to get weary, a little burny. And again, so you really want to be working into that. Let's go one more there. Zipping up. Swooping. Taking it up all the way. Beautiful. Now we're going to take our arms over, stretch the band, and take the hands behind you and tap those legs down. Beautiful. Well done. Okay, so nice and tall. Let's see if we can zip up and tap, bring the legs up and tap. And tap. And tap. Let's go three more for six. Tap. Tap. Tap, beautiful. Take it down and then roll it all the way out, sitting up nice and tall. Squeeze those legs together. Let's take the, uh, the ball between the ankles, okay? Again, if you don't have to put a cushion or you can just put, uh, um, or you can just squeeze your legs together. It's not a problem at all, okay? So let's just take the nice shoulder um, stretches reaching the arms back, trying while we're doing this to keep the spine up. So I'm trying to do this without moving the body and just moving my arms. Now I have my strap quite wide. Yeah, you might want to make it more stretchy. So when you come over, you can stretch a little bit more, but otherwise you can leave it, leave it like that. Beautiful, just opening up nice into the shoulders. Now keep the arms in front, into our spine, stretch forward, inhale, Exhale to reach over those legs, draw breath into the back, and exhale to stack the spine. All the way up. Inhaling into your C-curve, exhaling to reach forward, breathing into the back, and exhaling to stack the spine. Beautiful, inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale to stack the spine, and float those arms down. Take a breather. 
We're going to hold a little bit closer onto the band. Okay, so we can do a seated spine twist. We're going to sit nice and tall. Inhale to grow. I'm going to exhale to squeeze my ball. Don't let my legs move and twist. Inhale to twist a little further. Exhale to center. And again to the other side, reaching, 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 reach further and center. And grow. And across, across, across. Reach further, shoulders down and center. And reach and reach across. Reach further, center and reach. Last set. Reach, reach across and center. Last side. Reach, reach across. Enter. Hold into your C curve and reach over those legs. Inhale. Good roll all the way down. Squeezing into the ball. Point those toes and coming on down. Reaching back. Lifting. Scooping. Reach over and curl down. Reaching back. And lifting. So across the waist. Scooping. Reaching. And down. And last one. Scooping. And floating that down. All the way down. And stretch that out. Fantastic. Bring those arms up and release those arms down. Fantastic. So let's go ahead now. Onto our side. We'll lose that ball for a second. Okay, so I'm going to bed, so I'm going to fall bed. So we're going to flip this at it. So legs are nice and long. Let's go without the band for this one. All right. Legs are nice and long. And I'm going to take my legs just slightly forward of my body. So not all the way to the corner of the mat, just a little bit forward so I can see my feet. And I'm going to get my back nice and long. And my tummy is curled up is connected here okay so from here i'm going to send that tip, that leg really really long and hover that bottom leg so you can feel my waist has to work here okay i'm going to bring my leg in with my foot flex like as if i'm going to bring that foot to 90 90 and then i'm going to press that leg out reaching it out point the toe flex the foot bring it in and reach like as if you're climbing stairs flex and in and press, point, bring that in, reach, flex, point, bring that in. Feeling a nice movement in that joint, bring that in. Just getting that to 90-90. Feeling all into here when you push that heel away, bring that in. Press away like you're pressing onto something. Pulling up something, pull it with your foot, pressing it away. Point, flick, feel that curve, pulling it in, reaching it out, press, point, flex. Let's do one more for eight, bring that in, reaching it out, flex, point, point, and flex, hold that there. Press that bottom leg down, flex, into the mat, and reach that one up just higher than your shoulder, and squeeze it down all the way to the other one, and press it up just higher than your shoulder, toe pointing in front. And reach it up, toe pointing in front. So it's almost in line with the body there, just a little bit in front. And you're pressing that other leg down in opposition as you reach up. Of course, you can have your head down as well as you're reaching into that and you're hollowing your waist. And three more, stretching that leg across the middle line. Two, and stretch, and three, last one and press that down. Beautiful, let's point those toes now. We're gonna to lift again with those legs. Zipping up, take that top leg, bring it front for me, lifting it up and circling it back like a D, like a big capital D, bringing it front, circling it around behind you and then scraping it along the bottom, taking it up front and around like a big D, like hooping it. We do the hot potato like that sometimes, right? But we just tap from back to front, bringing it back. Zipping. Let's reverse that. Four in the opposite direction. Bring it back. Squeeze the bum. Loop it over. Bring it in front. Squeeze it to center. Squeeze it back. 
And the other leg is up. So you've got to balance with that core, reaching that back, lifting it around, pressing that leg long, make those thighs active, bring that around, bring it in front and squeeze them here together, lengthening through the body, lengthen and hold, lift them together and lower and lift and lift, lift, zipping up waist and lift. Let's go four more, four, squeeze, keep that top leg long, three, squeeze, keep that top leg long, two, squeeze, keep that top leg long, one, and lower that down, beautiful. Bring those legs to 90-90, perfect 90-90. Bottom leg is in, you're going to take that leg and just lift it, just opening like a book. Make sure those knees line up, that hip doesn't roll back, and close that book free. So you're going across that midline. Open it just like a book, not too wide. And notice I'm not going too wide. I can go wider, but I want to focus on abduction, just literally opening up from the hips as opposed to turning the leg out, right? I just want to open up from the hips and lifting that thing and squeeze that across the midline and lifting that there, feel that glute, feel all of it, pull that up. Let's go last two, squeeze it down, pull that up, zip up those tummies, squeeze that down. And last one, pull that up, pull that there for me, hold that there for me, pull that. See my knees right pointing forward, not turning it out. And then go ahead and release that leg down. Give that a nice rub. That's a good workout there. So if you're looking at this and not doing it, trust me, do it. Okay, so let's take that leg across the body. Give that a nice little stretch. Okay, so it's on the floor there. And then I'm going to just take my chest from underneath me, my shoulders, so that I can really get a nice rotation in my spine. I get a nice stretch into my back and my hip. If you think it's good for you and your body can manage it, go ahead and stretch that bottom leg and then stretch the back arm as well to the back of the room so that you can zip the tummy in and deepen that stretch. Just feel the long from toe to, to, to finger at the back there, and from the bottom toe to the throat. Feel as if you're lengthening through the body with each breath. Let's take two more slow breaths there. When we come into slow breaths, we think about a breath for six counts. And out for six counts. Now I'm just going to soft bend that knee, that top knee there, this knee. So they can allow that knee to relax down onto the mat. And it just deepens that stretch into the hip joint a little bit more. And hold that again for two breaths. Nice and slow. Beautiful. Then we're going to take that bottom leg that it was bent before. We're going to bend it back to where it was and take this knee this foot and put it in front of that knee, right? So the knee is holding the foot there as well as this hand. And then I'm gonna bring my back hand, open my chest and just keep that knee pointing to the ceiling. So we get a deeper stretch into glute medias, the different muscles are happening there. Leaving into that, drawing the tummy in, really trying to get that knee reaching to the ceiling. So my knee is, my bottom knee is almost right angle to you. Black on black, so you can't see very well. This is my foot here, you see it's parallel to the front of the mat. Let's take a last breath here, really feeling that deep into that hip joint. Beautiful, and then let's go ahead in that position, we're just turning onto the back. So we enter that figure of four position. And again, keep that knee open. Spine is nice and neutral. Allowing that hip to get another stretch in a different angle. Now keeping that knee nice and open, I'm going to slide that bottom leg out, stretching that knee open again in a slightly different position. He's nice, also really opening across the hips. Nice hip workout today, right? And then now we're going to roll up. You can help yourself up or you can just roll up. Sometimes it's easier to just help yourself up. So you're rolling up. 
And then now from here, you're coming into that figure of four stretch. I'm gonna flex that bottom foot and I'm gonna reach up and over that leg, pressing open my knee as I stretch over there. Nice breath into that. Deepen that stretch. One more breath here. Pulling the tummy away from the thighs. We're deepening that stretch. Breath out. And stacking the spine. A perfect position for us to just swing our legs into the opposite direction and do that all over again. How was that for you? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Stuff. Okay. All right. So same thing all over again. I started on my side. I started on my elbow. All right. And we are nice and long into the leg. And the legs are just slightly in front of us. I'm zipping up. I'm lifting my legs, squeezing into the inner thigh. Both legs are the same length. Then I'm going to take that leg, flex it, bring it in, press it out, point and flex. Bring it in. So I bring it in just past that 90 degrees, reaching, stretching that leg away. Keep zipping up and keep those hips, pelvis stacked one on top of the other. Beautiful. Reach, point, flex, bring that in. Reach, point, flex, bring that in. Sipping up nicely there, reach. Feel that inner thigh of that bottom leg. Feel the bottom side of that bottom leg as well, reaching that away. Let's go two more here. Kick it away. Feel that glute need, bring it in. Press it away. Beautiful, squeeze those legs together for me and then press that leg down. I'm gonna press into that leg. I'm gonna flex those feet hard. I'm gonna lift that leg shoulder height and squeeze it down past the midline and lift and squeeze. Both legs are pressing away. Squeeze that bottom top leg in. Both legs just about shoulder height. We wanna be working. Would we press that heel away and squeeze? Zipping up those tummies, rib cage is melted and press and squeeze. Let's go three more. Reach and squeeze. Two and squeeze. And one and squeeze. Hold that leg for me. Okay. So now we're going to take that leg, point the toe. We're going to drag it forward, loop it up, making a big deep squeeze the boot behind. This is like a miniature grand ronde de jambe, right? Bring it around or a hot potato, squeezing it behind, coming behind the leg and then scraping it along the front, lifting that, making a capital D. Squeeze those bumps and reach it front. Let's go one more in this direction, reaching that back. Beautiful, let's reverse that. And reverse, round it around, bring it in front. I'm really active in that bottom leg. And take it around, bring it front, squeeze that glute behind. Let's go two more. Pressing it down, think of long through the waist. And bringing it down and take them together and squeeze them long and nice. We're gonna lift the, into the waist and lower all the way down. And lift and lower. And zipping up, lift, lower. Keep that top leg, same height. Can't see my legs because of that black thing there. So we come a little higher. And in and lift and lift. I have to move that table next time. Two more reaching. One more reaching. Beautiful. And lower that down. Beautiful. I'm going to bend those knees in 90 90. Keep the hips stacked one on top of the other. We're going to open those legs, pressing both legs apart, squeezing that leg past that midline. Opening that. And opening that. Opening. Really isolating that hip opening. I'm not turning the hip out. 
I'm just abducting it, separating. And I want that feeling to come all the way from the pelvis, the SI joint. I want it to feel like as if you're nice and organized in there, reaching that up. Let's go two more here, pressing that up, sipping up that waist. Let's hold this one up, holding it up. Feel that pressing open the pelvis. Let's hold it up for four more counts. Three, two, and one. And release that down. Beautiful. Oh, gosh. It's hard work. Okay, straighten that bottom leg and take that leg out in front of you. Nice and long. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my shoulder from underneath me. Reach that leg long. Let's see if we can also reach that arm long. So we're reaching in opposition. Stretch that bottom leg as well. So the bottom toe away from the throat, the hand and toe reaching away from each other, making a nice cross with your body. Really feeling that stretch as far as you can, reaching it out there. Let's take another breath there. And then we're gonna just soften that top, that front knee and just bring that knee down to the mat. This just deepens that stretch. Big breath. Big exhale. Last breath here. And then we're going to bring that arm up. We're going to take that leg and bend that knee. So that foot is going to go onto the mat. I'm going to bring this knee 90-90 to the mat. That foot and hand, knee and hand is holding that, and this other knee hand is going to push that knee up to the ceiling. It's open through the body. Let's feel a nice stretch into the hip. I'm just going to breathe out and release into that. So we're going to have two more breaths. Okay, and now we're going to roll that leg up, come onto your back. Figure four with your leg, pelvis is even, pressing that knee open. Find that nice pelvic position, foot is in line with that hip joint, hips are squared off. I really feel that sacrum just melting in to that mat. Adjust your body as you need to. And just feel that opening into that hip. Just different areas stretching each time. Nice breath in. Okay, so let's go ahead and slide that leg out. Just breathe out. Allowing that knee to float open. Again, finding that comfortable spot. The foot is still on the thigh, the thigh is in line with the throat, the knees open to the side, just getting open across the hips. I'm relaxed into my glutes, I don't want to be tensing here to let the hips rock. I want to try to keep my waist nice and even. Okay, so let's go ahead and help ourselves up into a nice roll up. There's a up and over, flexing into that long leg and rounding yourself over the, this leg. Keeping the knee pressed open. Nice stretching into that hip. Breathing and allowing that release. Releasing into the back, into the leg. Releasing into that hip, feel the lower back opening out. Draw the belly away from the thighs. Breathing in. Beautiful and coming all the way up. All the way nice and long. Fantastic. Okay, so from here, we're going to turn on to your hands and knees, okay? We're going to go into a um, 
that's a, a four arm plank here, not actually a plank, we're gonna go to all fours here. So I'm gonna come here like this. I'm gonna slide this leg out. I'm gonna work into our extension here. So I'm gonna reach that leg up. I'm gonna reach that other arm out and just hold that position with that other arm, square to the body and lower that leg over. Let's reach that leg up and lower that. So when you're going up, I want you to really draw the tummy in so we're working from that hip joint, okay? The other arm is reaching long. And out. And reach. Chest is square. And reach. Back is working because of that arm. Reaching that leg up. And six. Let's go two more for eight. Reaching that up. Hold that there for me. Flex. Kicking in. Point, release, flex, kicking in, release, zipping up, pull, lengthen, pull, lengthen, pull, lengthen, four more, pull, lengthen, pull, lengthen, reach, squeeze that leg up, last one, squeeze it up, flex the foot and pulse it there, eight, seven, six, five, zip up, four, three, two, one. Reach that leg down, reach the arm in, and reach the leg in. Push back into child's pose. Beautiful. Right there. Go ahead and slide back into your half plank. Zipping up from cage in. I'm gonna press my other leg away this time. My other arm away. Working into my shoulder blade, I'm going to lift that leg and lower that. Keep your body square, chest is square, armpits engaged, working into that glute, reaching that up, reaching that up, lengthening, keep the body square, reaching and then tapping. And reaching, keep that arm long, keep the shoulder blade sliding to the waist, rib cage is melting. Beautiful. Last two, reaching. Last one, reach, hold that there, flex the foot, curl it in and reach it out. Zipping up, curl it in and reaching up. Curl and reach and squeeze and lengthen, zipping up. Reach into that arm as well, draw the rib cage. Four, lengthen, three, squeeze and keep it up, two, lift, one, lengthen, flex the foot and pulse it there, eight, seven, six, reach that arm, feel the shoulder blades, three, two, one, point that toe, reaching it down, bring that arm in, bring that leg in into your child's pose. Take a breath. Beautiful. Now you're going to bring your, your um, I'm just going to bring it back a little bit. I'm going to bring my arms to the mat, nice and broad on the mat. Bring the forearms down. I'm going to drive myself through. My arms, I want to feel a little bit back, back extension here. I'm going to drag myself through into cobra and into up dog. Push out. Feel that back extension. Tummy is pulled in. I'm going to bring my elbows down, my thighs down. I'm going to come back through cow into cat. Sorry, I'm into cat, into child's pose. And come through again, working into the triceps, into the back, reaching into cobra, and then pressing into up dog. Zipping up the tummy. Beautiful, and then down into the elbows, thighs come down, bring the chest down, lift the bum, and squeeze back. Beautiful. And again, just rocking through those, bring it through. Cobra, squeeze, reach up, bring those arms, bring that down, zipping up, reach, squeeze, bring it forward, bring it through. Cobra, lift. Bring it down, reach it through, press it back, reach, last one, bring it through, reach it through, triceps, 
reach up to the body, feel that up dog, hold, draw the belly in, bring that down into cobra, hold your cobra, hold your cobra, feel that extension, bring that down. Beautiful, turn the toes under into your plank, all the way into your plank and feel that hold. Hold, pressing the mat away from here, just stretch those heels away back and forth, sit up those tummies. Beautiful, then bring those knees in and give you a nice high back cat stretch. Breathing into the back and lengthening out all the way to neutral. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, curling into your cat stretch. Inhaling into the back. One more time. Scooping. Inhale. And lengthening out all the way to neutral. We're going to press the toes under. We're going to press all the way up into our downward dog. Walk the feet into where it's comfortable for you. Pressing the body through the arms. Take a nice inhale into the back. Pressing one knee in. Press that other leg out. And press. And press nice and open through the body. Pressing that out. Sipping up and press, press, reach way, reach, last set, last side, both together, beautiful. Now let's walk those hands back, coming into a nice forward fold, I'm going to open through my chin and chest, nice and long, soft into my knees, just ever so soft into my knees. Rib cage is melted in. I'm going to hover my arms to frame my face. And the last work here for the arms, I'm going to scissor my arms. Reach, scissor, reach. Lots of work into those calves, into the backs. Feeling that nice. Beautiful last side. Take both arms up. And then take both arms down, opening the legs almost as wide as the mat. You're going to take your hand across outside of that ankle, reaching up with the other arm and feeling a nice rotation spread. Hips are squared off, breathing into that. And then taking it the other way. Legs aren't as wide as the mat and reaching out up the other side. Hips are squared, reaching up with opposite way from that arm. Breathing in there and bringing that back to center. Let's go ahead and wiggle those feet back together. Give me a nice soft knees, elbows reaching beside the knees, pressing back and tuck those chins in. Scooping in here, now we're gonna press into the legs, press into the arms and feel the energy all the way up to the sacrum. Your, your knees are bent, chin is tucked in. Breathing in nice and broad. Exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling to lengthen those legs. See if we can get a good stretch there, keeping the body close. Feel the mid back stretch. One more bend. Feel those elbows go back in the mid back stretch. Inhale, pressing into those legs and arms. The stretch is straighten up one more time. Beautiful. Inhale there, releasing those legs. Rise up just a few inches and just shake those arms, stirring them around, shaking the head. Scooping into the waist, let's come up another inch or two. Feet or hip distance. Just feeling through the body there. And again, come up another inch or two. Scooping over those hips, inhale. Feel from the heels, start to pull up those arches, pull up those kneecaps, pull the sits bones together, drop that tailbone, pull the hip bones together nicely, lifting through the spine, all the way nice and tall. Come up all the way to the top, very nice. Feel that long into the arms, so you feel a really nice long reach into the arms. Beautiful. You'll take those arms out to the sides. Take them out 
down. All the fingertips nice and long. They're holding that there nicely, holding that there nicely. Lengthen through the body. Reaching up those arms again. This time open through the chest, really opening. And then we're gonna dive over into one last roll down. Come to stretch the spine, inhale, and rolling all the way up. Ah. Give yourself a nice hug. Tell yourself thank you for a job well done. You ace that. Wow, impressive. Okay, thanks for joining, and I will see you again soon.